and we are live okay this is live radio people this ain't no joke <laughs> and also we do have a podcast version so just in case you didn't want to rock with your boy right now and you had some stuff that you was doing i don't know what you could be doing you at home doing nothing okay we're in the middle of a pandemic where are you gonna go you can eat outside a restaurant where the flies gonna tear you up and the mosquitoes gonna tear you up that's not eating for real the that's what people eating right now wait till two weeks when they say that you can go in and eat i'm talking about places gonna be stupid packed for no reason right lucky money here man i'm just joking with you guys so let's get back into some more stories man our president president trump <clears throat> says excuse me it is time to reopen country amidst there would be more deaths i'm going to skim through some things real quick people because i butchered the whole column last week not last week last segment and i don't want to embarrass myself this time so we're going to talk a little bit about it uh so here here it goes summarizing said an exclusive interview with world news tonight president donald j trump they had to put the j in it amidst that it is possible there would be some deaths as the country moves towards reopening in the interview with abc news show anchor david murrah i think i said his name right i think your boy been taking lessons trump says that more deaths would be possible because you won't be locked into an apartment or house or whatsoever and then the one thing i learned people if i go on you have to read the whole argument most people are going to read right there and say hey look our president's an idiot he's a moron he don't know what he's talking about but i'm not taking up for trump i'm not uh, uh against trump i'm just speaking the facts okay you have to read everything he said the president went on to say but at the same time we're going to practice social distancing which that is not a word people i don't know what that means but we're going to wash our hands and we're going to do a lot of things that we've learned to do over the last period of time right let's stop right there huh <sighs> The unfortunate part, people, and I spoke about this on the topic about having our youth sports canceled and how that can have a negative effect, not only in the uh, uh, youth arena, but also in the black uh, area and community. It's crazy. The, the park up the street from me was jam-packed with people. They was growing behind people still yet, but I, I, I digress right there. So as we look back and we're looking at this this thing right quick i am learning a lot about the state of our economy the state of businesses and as i look at i'm I'm in the business of entertainment right the fact that there are considering pay-per-view concerts to be an option where you have to pay 20 to 40 bucks to watch somebody live stream their concert in the empty arena or venue or wherever they they're gonna be at it shows how far the music industry has fallen because they said oh streaming is the savior and restaurants now yeah restaurants doing good that have the drive-through business but what if you're not a drive-through restaurant well i don't know well what if you're a local restaurant well i don't know tough luck and even if you go take the business loan, you may have to pay it back because there are going to be stipulations that you have to follow. If you don't follow those stipulations, tough luck, tough cookie. So people have to get back to work because the thing of the matter is, is that President Trump is right. We cannot be stuck in the house forever. Schools are closed. OK, now you're putting pressure on top of the parents to not only keep their kids at home, but do six to eight hours of work. How when you're trying to make a living for yourself? And the question is, is this gonna be a new normal? Absolutely, face masks gonna be around for the next year or so. I think social distancing is gonna be here throughout the rest of the year. Um, now, if there's a revival or if I see if there's an outbreak more on coronavirus, I think that there's ways that we can go through the coronavirus pandemic or outbreak without shutting everything down. I do believe in isolation, self-quarantining. 
um, really heighten up precautions when it comes to hospitals and and also nursing homes. But I just feel like this, guys, and this is something that I I was, I'm seeing in my small town of Fountain in South Carolina, and also I'm seeing this all over when community is not included or involved people lose a sense of themselves right and as you lose the sense of yourself it is hard to truly begin to tap into this god-given ability that people have and that is we are communion based people people ain't gonna be going to church now when churches are open up guess what happened church is gonna be packed but is it gonna last so my question is there's a lot of great things that happen because of the coronavirus outbreak like washing your freaking hands okay that is self-explanatory you shouldn't be a grown man walking out the public restroom without washing your hands now i see everybody wash their hands and at least truck stops try to clean their bathrooms now other than that it was a free fall i don't know what was happening but i i really sense and i believe in my heart that the closer that we get to opening the healing process can start it's gonna be a long process but the healing process can start what you think about it please um let me know if you're watching this on youtube in the comment section below if you're listening to this podcast just email me email me at contact at chhnow.com let me know what you think man that was some good stuff man Woo! i hope you was excited about it because i am so we're gonna get back into the next song man and this happens all the time i'm looking at this camera i'm trying to uh, program myself i can't wait to the day where one day i can have a producer and the producer does this for me and all i can do is sit here and talk like i i do talk but man we're gonna get into this thing man i'm excited about this so